like you ever felt. Are you listening? Next section I will show how to fill out the details product to other HTML text box or text editor. Okay, I will show HTML text box or text editor. See example in video. You can see this text fill is in basic text array tags. Okay, this section I will use jQuery to help. I will write a jQuery command to access an iframe HTML tag on a web page. Because the fields are inside this iframe. Ok, now I will find class of iframe in this video I select one value of class and search. See that this value only one in use on this page. I will use this class for access to iframe. Before we go to next step, we have to know basic for access to frame of iMacro. iMacro can access to frame by two command. 1. Sequence number of the frame on the page command. This code is frame f equals sequence number of the frame. 2. Access by name of frame. This command is frame name equals name of frame. So this video I will use access to frame by name of frame. But problem now iframe on this page is not have named. We have to use jQuery for insert name to frame. You can see example for use jQuery in other video in my channel. Back to code. I will use command jQuery for access to class of iframe and use command attr for insert attribute name to iframe and value of attribute name is my frame. Don't forget all command J query as we use in I macros should not have empty space or you must as should command less than SP greater than replace all empty space. If you don't use less than SP greater than all J query command in this line don't work. Okay, we will test this code. You can see tag iframe has a tribute name as we wanted. Next step we can test to access in this iframe by command of iMacro. Actually, you can use only command of JavaScript to solve this but this. In example I will use command of jQuery. Because jQuery easy more than JavaScript and suitable for beginners.
Back to code. I will copy last code I macro from before step and passed in this file. E. After that I will edit less than br greater than to double backslash n. After that, we will create code for write text to frame. I will copy code from hash current.e in this class we used in the first step. We have to focus and don't forget, every time to use jQuery in.e. We have to use command wait seconds about one second and paste the code between lines use jQuery because we need to keep the code running for a moment. See example in video. After that we use command I macro to penetrate into the frame. After that click to element P. After that we create code for write detail product to frame. This product details are deposited at the variable var1. After that create code frame equals 0 for out from my frame. After that we go to test code. In video, you can see word detail writing in page. So from last code we let you do copy and paste in new file. E. We will test another element without iframe. After paste code. We have to edit code. 1. Remove all line has jQuery code. 2. Remove frame code all line. 3. Edit selector by copy old code and paste to current code. See example in video.
In video, you can see word detail writing in page. Thank you for watching and we hope to enjoy our video. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn.